Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your weekend. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Christopher and I bring content around planning an organization, lifestyle, home decor, skincare, tech, product reviews, you name it, I do it. So go ahead while you're here and click that little red subscribe button. And if you're gonna hang out with me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I would love to catch up with you over there as well. And I answer every single comment and question, whether it be on my YouTube channel or on my Instagram. And we have a fast growing community. So please join the fun. Now, if you're following me on Instagram, you know that I purchased a lot on my latest trip to both Belgium and Amsterdam. If you are new here, you should also know that I vlogged every single day while we were away, and I will leave all of those daily vlogs linked down below. But because I bought so much, and this video could become very, very long, I'm gonna go ahead, dive in, talk about it, but you should know that I'm going to link what I can find down below, but you can just ask me any questions that you may have in the comments below, and I will make sure to get back to you. Everyone was telling me that I had to visit the store Hema for stationary stuff. The first thing I bought was this set of pens. Now, they're just regular blue ballpoint pens, but what I loved about it was the color combination because it's just a rare one. So you have this fluorescent orangey pink, navy blue, and like an army olive green, and I simply adored this color combo. They write in simple blue ballpoint ink, nothing special about them. They write really well and really smooth. It was just the color combination that I fell in love with and realized I needed them in my life. The next thing I picked up at Hema were these two roller ball pens and I really love the gold and silver holographic design of them once again right really smooth nothing really special just really love the way they looked to go with the holographic pens I also picked up some holographic washi tape the whole story about this is all of the rolls have a hole poked in between so literally the poor gentleman who was checking me out had to like try to piece it together and punch the codes in manually for all the washi tape. Then I picked up this roll of washi tape as well and once again just simply love all of the colors and the combination of like this mustardy yellow, the coral, the light blue, the navy blue, the gray, and the blush pink. Just think this color combo is a lot of fun and I'm excited to use it in my planners. Then at Hema I went ahead and picked up these Aero post-its. Once again they're simple sticky notes. They're going to be more challenging to write on because some of them have a really dark print. However, I think for flagging pages, they're really cool and just a really great different design that you don't always see in other stationary products. And lastly, I picked up these post-it notes that are actually in the shape of a house. I don't know how I'm going to use them, where I'm going to put them, but I absolutely thought they were so interesting and so cool, so I had to pick them up as well. I fell in love with this little bud vase. So what it has is it has one, two, three, four, five, six places around for buds and then one center one. I think it's really beautiful. It would look beautiful with flowers as well. But what I'm going to use it for is a pen holder on my desk. I think it will make it just look really cool, really modern, and just a little bit different from your normal pen holder. The next store I'm going to talk about is one that when I vlogged it on day one, I believe, everyone asked, what store are you in? And that store is called All Over the World. And it was just a really cool home goods, stationery, you name it, they had it, and I loved the store, so I picked up a bunch of things that I'll be using in my office space. The first thing I picked up was this adhesive contact paper. I'm thinking of really creative ways to use this in the new space because I do want to do some pops of green downstairs, and I'm thinking of how I will line drawers of cabinets and stuff like that with this paper just to open it up and add that extra pop of color because a lot of the cabinetry is going to be all white. The next thing I picked up at All Over the World were just some easy prints that I can frame and hang up throughout the space um, and put them up on shelves. This one kind of made Steven and I laugh. It literally is a print of us. There's a blondish redhead guy who is very pasty, and then a more olive-toned, dark-haired guy, and it is literally Steven and I. However, Steven would never wear that outfit because it has way too much color for him. Next, at All Over the World, I bought two post-it pads, one with this gray squiggle across it and another that just has this grid and a little flag, nothing really special. They are not adhesive post-its, they're just tear-off sheets. It was like the Target dollar bin where you don't need it, but you buy it anyway. 
It was one of those situations. Next, I bought this set of dot stickers. I actually bought three packages of these. They're just simple black, but I could see these doing really well in a bullet journal or in any planner with a like gold pen to mark numbers or special little notes. And I just really like that black dot with the idea of using that gold pen on it. The next thing is one of Steven's big purchase ideas. He fell in love with these napkins at All Over the World. One is this succulent plant and one is like a fern print. We love napkins in our house. We have many different kinds. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I always have like a cute napkin in the photo. So Steven picked these out because he really liked them. And when the guy finds something he likes, I have to get it. So he wanted some napkins. Next, <laughs> completely not exciting, but I just thought they were very cool. They are a set of dish towels, and on them they say Anna and Clara, and they are really nice waffle woven, so I know they'll be super absorbent, and I picked up them in navy blue and in gray. I am constantly cleaning, and I'm constantly needing dishcloths, so I figured why not have something that when I pull it out, I am reminded of this trip. That is one thing I will tell you, a lot of this stuff you'll say, hey, you could have got this anywhere, and that's the point of it for me. I like to buy things that I would use every single day of my life so that I have these constant reminders of my trip. I don't buy shirts that say Amsterdam or glassware that says where you were at. Those things to me will never be pulled out frequently in my home, so I like to buy candles and things that I will use daily, and it's always a little reminder of that really great trip that we had. So yeah, I bought some dish towels. Next at All Over the World, I bought some more ballpoint pens because you know you can never have too many, and then this eraser because I thought it would look really cute on my desk. They had these really cute trays that have like a little hole here that you could like lace a piece of leather through and hang. And I'll probably use these as little serving trays or just as decor to anchor a candle on or some sort of platform to display something. I just really, really like them. I also picked up these two little bud vases to sit up on the shelves of my new space. Um, really like the color of this like light minty green and grayish green. The next store we went into really wasn't a store. It was kind of like a stand in the center of a plaza. And Steven and I walked into it and we found a lot of little funny kitschy things. Um, one thing that Steven fell in love with were these wine stoppers that actually look like people diving. So when you stick them in your wine bottle, you have their feet sticking out, but then you have their diver body in the bottle down below. Next, I picked up these two containers just for my office space to hold little odds and ends. What I really loved was like the Dutch flower design, but I really appreciated that it was on this modern black sleek high gloss box. And yeah, I just thought they'd look great stacked up on a shelf. Um, to hold little knickknacks in, and I love them. Now I'm going to talk about the store Rituals, which I know is in the States, but for some reason I have never stumbled across a Rituals. So when I walked in, I immediately fell in love with so many of the skincare products and just the store aesthetics in general, it was very much my style. So the lip balm that I picked up is called the Smooth Operator, and it's eucalyptus, and it is such a great calming lip balm. A, I love eucalyptus, so I love the tingle you get from it. It isn't really shiny, which I really enjoy, and it just is super hydrating and really soaks in, and I feel like you can never have too many lip balms, but this Rituals eucalyptus one is really, really great. Rituals also has a very Eastern fragrance line out right now, and I fell in love with Sultan de Muscat, and it's a really wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It has dark wood, patchouli, and leather, which is right up my alley. So the fragrance just has that nice, warm, um, warm spiciness and depth to it. And then you don't really get the leather until after it dries down, and then the leather really smooths everything out and helps blend it all together. And then we stumbled upon the candles, and I asked myself, how did I ever not know about Rituals candles? Steven and I love candles that are very smoky, very like spicy and warm. Like those are what we're attracted to, like tobaccos and leather and smoke. Like we really love those fragrances. So when we stumbled upon Ritual's black line candles, 
I mean, I was instantly in love with all of them. The first one we found was Woody Vanilla. This candle is really nice because I like vanilla, but I don't like straight up vanilla. It has to have something mixed in with it. And this one has cedar mixed with the vanilla and it's just really evenly balanced between the two and it gives it this smoky, woody scent that is not sweet and not too warm or spicy. It's just perfectly balanced and we loved it. The next ritual candle is also from the Black Line and it is called Holy Smoke. Now this one is exactly what you think. It smells like a fireplace with some leather and a little bit of tobacco. It honestly reminds me a lot of Faux de Bois by Diptyque, which is Steven's favorite, favorite candle. Mm, if you do not have a fireplace, but you love the smell of like that crackling wood burning, this is the candle for you, Holy Smoke by Rituals. The next thing I purchased, and I got lots of compliments on my Instagram because my, I recently lost my grandfather and I was wearing one of his hats that my grandmother stuck on my head and a lot of you were like, you should wear more hats. So I was inspired to pick up two straw hats. They are simply from H&M in Amsterdam and I really, really like them and I'm going to try wearing more hats and incorporating them into my weekend outfits and weekend attire. And I think I can pull it off. So yeah, got some hats to, uh, to rock. One of the most powerful moments of the entire trip was visiting Anne Frank's house. I was not at all prepared for the emotion that I would feel. We weren't allowed to film there. However, I did sneak footage of climbing the stairs into the hiding place and I did feel my reaction afterwards and I was really, really moved by it. And after leaving, I decided I had to pick up two books. One is Anne Frank's Tales from the Secret Annex. This is a collection of stories that she also wrote that were not in her diary, that were found in different notebooks. They're more short stories and narratives that she was writing at the time because that was her dream to become a writer. And it is just that collection of short stories and essays. This also gives you a very clear glimpse that she was a young teenage girl and that she was feisty and had a little bit of an attitude and it really made her even more human and I'm really excited to read this. The other book I bought at the museum was Anne Frank the Biography. It has just been revised and expanded and it is just like a really great picture into her life um, from start to finish and just to get to know her a lot more. The next store I'm going to talk about is the store Hay. Hay as in horses, H-A-Y. And it's a beautiful home decor and stationery and planning store. I fell in love with it instantly. But right before I went to Hay, I actually was at the Starbucks and saw someone bullet journaling and I was completely enamored with the idea. So while I was on the trip, I was watching some YouTube videos on bullet journaling. So I was excited when I walked into Hay and they had some things that I could use to start creating my first bullet journal. I'm going to say this wrong. I even looked it up to remember how to say it and I'm going to forget, but it's the luck term or the Lech Term 1917 Bullet Journal. It, the pages are already numbered. It's the dotted grid. I am excited to set this up and this is the bullet journal that everybody uses. And I just quickly grabbed my Dymo label maker and added Christopher 2017 on there. But I'm excited to use this because this is the bullet journal of all bullet journals according to YouTube. The next thing I picked up at Hay was the Tombow brush pens and they are acid free. They don't bleed through your paper, but they have that very nice brush tip to give your writing that thickness and thinness and like that calligraphy like look. I'm gonna have to practice with these a lot, but I just loved the colors. The next thing I picked up at Hay were the Pentel Color Fine Point Felt Tip Pens. And I really just love the color scheme that Hay carried. Uh, really love these. I wrote on a couple pieces of paper in the Hay store and they didn't bleed through. So I'm excited to see how they translate into my planners, but I just love them. I'm a pen geek. So anytime I find really great colors that match my aesthetic and style, I get really excited. For bullet journaling, it is very important to have high quality rulers because you have to draw everything yourself, all of your layouts. So at Hay, they had these really wonderful, really cool looking rulers made out of wood. And this one has like this graphic minty green stripe. And then this one is like a cube and it's just a really great ruler and straight edge and I'm really excited to use these when I start bullet. Next, I picked up these colored post-its from Hay. They're really, really cool and you can actually take off the outer rims and mix and match them. 
and they're all just circular shapes. Lastly at Hay, I picked up two trays for my desk in my new office. These are super high quality and really heavy and nice. So this one that I picked up is just a simple gold tray. It'll hold paper clips or binder clips, whatever I need it to hold. And then the other one I picked up that I'm really excited about is this oil slick tray. And it's in the smaller size, but I just think it is so beautiful. Like I said, they're very heavy weighted and just stunning. I'm really excited about them. So you can compare the size. This was the large one, this was the smaller one. I just really, really love them. While we were in Antwerp, Belgium, we found this amazing store called Jut Juta or Jutu. I'm not sure, but it's all organic. No pesticides are used in the products. And I fell in love with so many things there. I actually vlogged the whole shopping trip. Once again, you can check it out down below. The first thing I picked up was this really great sandalwood beaded bracelet and it has this little gray tassel on it and this one has the rose quartz stone and they give you a little booklet that tells you the whole story and the rose quartz represents love harmony and peace which you know if you're watching this channel that this channel is all about kindness and love so i thought this was so fitting i have to retract my last comment in my planner haul video where i said i would never spend a lot of money on a pencil case because while i was in that store I stumbled across this brand called Oh My Bag Amsterdam. They produce leather goods that are completely pesticide free, all naturally preserved, and they are just stunning quality. And this leather will age from the oil of your skin and patina really beautifully and golden. They had some there to show you what it would look like at the end, and they're just stunning. And they had this large pencil case, and I just fell in love with it. So I did splurge and finally buy a really high quality leather pencil case that I love. And the last thing I picked up at that store were these two really cute sweatshirts. They're from the brand Enerk Gent. This one has like the cutest owl print on it. I think with like a little white button down underneath. It'll look really, really fun with just a pair of jeans. And then the other one I picked up was this really cool flower print. Um, it has like blues and a mustard color and red and I just really really loved it. We were at the airport and we had like two hours before our flight took off and I decided to walk around and do some shopping around the airport because the airport in Amsterdam has some wonderful stores. The first thing I did is I walked into a skincare store and if you watch my last vlog from like a weekend before the trip I bought the La Mer soft cream and I bought their lip balm and I said I was slowly going to build my La Mer collection and the prices were so good in this store that I picked up the La Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. I actually have been using a sample size of this that my SA at my skincare store, Olga, who is my go-to girl, um, have, has given me and I really enjoyed it. So I went ahead and splurged and bought the large La Mer Hydrating Serum. The way I use this is I put this on at night after I cleanse and then I put the soft cream moisturizer over it and it really has made a difference in my skin and I'm excited to be able to start using this now that I've shown it to you. I have been looking for the perfect pair of round sunglasses that are just the right size, not too large, not too small, and I walked into the Gucci store and I found these beauties. A, you also know that I hate Celine's crappy soft envelope case, so these came in a beautiful hard case, but I found these sunglasses. They are beautiful black. They also have a tortoiseshell. They have really stylish bars. The sides are really streamlined and then they have these little gold inlaid bumblebees on the ears and I don't wanna ever take them off. We flew in and out of Toronto. So on Friday night when we landed in Toronto, we ended up just getting a hotel there and staying there. The next morning we got up and like, everything in my life, we went to Starbucks, and then we decided to go shopping. The first place we stopped was this bookstore called Indigo, and I came across two books that I'm really interested in reading. One is called Miss You. It is a story about a girl and a guy and how their lives keep intersecting, um, whether it through trials or successes, and it's kind of like that romantic book. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, but I've heard really great things about it, and I read the first couple pages in the bookstore, and I kind of love 
Kate Eberlin's writing style. So I picked it up and have started reading it and I'm really enjoying it because it's such a departure from what I normally read. The next one I picked up is Little Sister by Barbara Gowdy. It is a book about a woman who is having these dreams that she's in another woman's body and then she learns about this sister that she didn't know about and then I guess throughout the book you're trying to figure out if the dreams that she is having is actually like the reincarnation of her sister. I don't know. It sounds really confusing but also very interesting. So I picked it up and decided to give it a try as well. Lastly, we stopped by Sex Fifth Avenue and a trip for me doesn't exist without buying some sort of diptyque product. So while I was there, I bought the 34 candle. You all know that 34 is my favorite scent from diptyque. The 34 candle is actually very interesting because the whole idea was to capture the fragrance of the original store on 34 Germain Street. I think it was Germain. St. Germain. Um, so it has like this smell of like leather and floral. It's just a really great scent. Um, it is one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. It is 34 by Diptyque and it also comes in like this beautiful white porcelain jar. It does not come in the glass jar. The next 34 candle that I really love, and I'm going to say it wrong, it's called Bays. I'm wrong, am I not? It smells like berries and it's just a lot sweeter of a fragrance and I thought it'd be great for spring and summer. I hear everyone talk about it so I decided to try it. And I bought it in this large size and then also bought a smaller one just for near the bathtub when I'm taking my bath at night to light. After I was at Diptyque, I decided to stumble over to stumble. It sounds like I was drunk. I decided to walk over because I was of complete coherence and check out Barreto scents. I have gone back and forth about buying a Barreto fragrance, but just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I finally went over and there were two that I fell in love with. One was Gypsy Water and the other one was Super Cedar. My essay at the Saks was really nice enough to give me a sampling of the Super Cedar because I liked it. I'm probably going to end up purchasing it. But I went ahead and picked up Gypsy Water. First of all, you know I'm a sucker for packaging and the packaging of this is just beautiful. Like I just want to leave it out as a decor throughout the house because I think it's beautiful. Well, that is what I picked up on the trip. Like I said, I like to buy things that I will use every single day. So I constantly have a reminder of the great time that we had. Like I said, if you have any questions about anything that I bought, just ask them down below and I will be sure to get back to you. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.